Dear brothers and sisters, Alexander the Great is well known for his victories throughout Asia Minor, Persia, modern Iran, and Afghanistan. Besides being a military genius, he was also a man of values, as the student of great philosopher Aristotle. Moreover, church fathers have been inclined to see a connection between Alexander the Great and Jesus Christ. For the time being, I would like to mention an episode which reflects the personality of this young conqueror of the ancient world. One day, a poor man approaching Alexander asks for alms. The great general, to the amazement of his subordinates, gives a purse of gold to the beggar. Perplexed, they question his attitude, wondering why he offered such a substantial sum that was beyond anyone's expectations, when the poor man only asked for a few coins. Without hesitation, Alexander answers that the poor man asks for what he needs, while Alexander gives what is worthy of Alexander. What a deep understanding and unique behavior to give not what is asked for, but what we should give out of the bounties we enjoy. I'm sure this gesture of Alexander's is exemplary and may inspire generations of all ages. Having recollected this precious episode from antiquity, I am pleased to announce that thanks to St. Stephen's Church in Watertown, Massachusetts, the Lebanese Relief Fund hit the six digits, reaching $100,025. Dear parishioners and friends, I humbly say, indeed, you make me proud. For a couple of weeks ago, I said, I hope soon we'll announce the six digits. And lo, and behold, you made that heartfelt wish to come true. May the loving and caring Almighty Lord fill us with his abundance so that good things flow from our hearts to irrigate the lives of those who are in need, and most especially our brothers and sisters in Lebanon.